All right, on the back it has a y equals two sine of four x. So if you need to rewrite it, please do. And we're going to say it starts starts at zero since we're working with sine. So our value of a, our amplitude is two. So that means we go up to two, down to negative two. Our value of b is four. So we have four peaks, and our period is going to be. 360 divided by 4, which is 90 degrees. So we're going to say we have five points from 0 to 90. So it's going to be a high frequency, and it's going to be uh, a little bit taller since we're not at 1, but it's going to just be up to 2. All right, so we're going to say this. We start at 90. Yeah, we start at 90. We start at 0, and we have to end at 0. So our start and end point have to be the same y value. So at 0 and 90, so I have 0 degrees is 0, and I have 90 degrees is also 0. I can take and figure out what my next value is. I take my 90 degrees divided by 4, so this is like one of the examples in classwork. My next point is going to be, what did I say, 22.5? Yeah. So I have in between 0 and 45, I have 22.5 degrees, and I have my y value as 2. Go down to 45 degrees, my y value is uh, 0. I go down to, or go over to 67.5 degrees, and my y value is negative 2. So I'm writing the order pair for these each time, so that way you have those first five, and then I just repeat myself after that. So again, let's double check using that technology. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I have y equals two sine of four x. I hit graph, so I'm going, how many peaks? I set four from zero to 360. And that looks about right because I, I started zero, one, two, three, four peaks. I said my critical values are 22.5. So let's say I go second graph to get my table. I hit plus sign to change my uh, change in table. So I'm going to say it's 22.5. Start at zero, my y value is zero. Go up to two at 22.5 go to 0 at 45 degrees, down to negative 2 at 67.5, and we end at 0 for 90 degrees. And so that's going to be what those five values for one rotation. And so what I can do is I can um, continue those values after that. So I'm going to say go up to 2, up to 2 at 112.5, I go down to 0 at 135. I go down to negative 2 at 157.5, 180 is 0, 202.5 is 2, 225 should be 0. And again, I'm using that table of values. Oh, it's a little bit easier, but you can kind of notice that pattern for yourself as well. So it's a lot easier when you're plotting them out and then seeing, hey, notice the pattern. And notice how it has those one, two, three, four peaks from zero to 360. All right, for number six, it says y equals three times cosine of three x. So it starts starts at one. So we do one times three. So our value, our start and end is gonna be at three. Let's figure out our amplitude, which is three. Our value for b is also 3, which means our period, our period for this is going to be 360 divided by 3. So this is going to be 120. So that means that our endpoint uh, is going to be 120 degrees. So that means our start and endpoint has to have the same y value. All right. What are going to, what's going to be my change in my x values? Well, it's just going to be 120 divided by 4. So 120 divided by 4 is going to be 30. So every 30 degrees, I'm going to have my next uh, critical y value. So I'm going to say it starts at 3, goes down to 0. 
so this is going to be 0, 3, this is going to be 30, 0. At 60, at 60 I have negative 3, at 90 I have 0, and at 120 I have my endpoint of 3. So again, order pairs, x and y, and so now I'm saying, okay, I have this one rotation, and then I am going to have three peaks. So since my, my value of b is three, I'm going to have three peaks. So that means I just repeat myself three times. So I have one rotation, and then I have, let's say, 150, 180, 210, 240, 270, 300, 330, and 360 is my endpoint. Always double check using that wonderful piece of technology. Let's do quit out. Y equals 3 cosine of 3x. Hit graph. I want to look at the picture first. So starting at zero, how many peaks do I have? I have one, two, and three peaks. I say second graph to get my table of values. Remember to go, you want to start at zero, and we're, uh, when x equals zero, but I need to change my change in table. So I hit plus, and I'm going to say it's every 30 degrees. And so here's my critical y values. I have three, zero, negative three, zero, and positive three. So that's gonna be my rotation for that one. All right, moving on quickly here, so that way you guys can get all this in. Y equals cosine of 6x. So this starts at 1. My amplitude is 1, so I go up to 1, down to negative 1. My value for B is 6, so that's going to be a high frequency, meaning I every... From, or let's say this, from 0 to 360, I'm going to repeat myself six times. So that means my period, my period is going to be 360 divided by 6, which is 60 degrees. So I'm going to have five values from 0 to 60. So be very careful when you're doing this. I'll take my time as well. All right. Cosine for this function, we said starts at 1 and it ends at one. So at 60 degrees, we have our endpoint of one. So that means this, I have, let's say, let's say this, I have one, and now I have to go down. So this is what I was trying to figure out. Okay, so what is my change? What's going to be my change in my x values? I take 60 divided by 4, because if I drew that circle out, it would be every 15 degrees is going to be my next point. So that means from 0 to 45, I have those three points. So I have 0, I have 15 degrees. So let's say like here. So let's actually move this back a little bit then. So I have 0, 15, I have 30 degrees at negative 1, I have 45 degrees is 0, and then at approximately, it's not perfect, but approximately at 60 degrees, I'm going to have my next point of 1. So let me label these out. Uh, so let me... What I can do is I can make a table here at the top. So let's do x, let's do y, and let's make some values here. So I'm going to say when x is 0, my y value is 1. When x is 15 degrees, my y value is 0. When x is 30 degrees, my y value is negative 1, 45, and 0. And this last point we said was 60 degrees and 1. So this is what I'm claiming. Let's double check our technology. So I have like this. I'm going to say cosine of 6x. Hit graph. 
Notice how it's not that tall of a function, but it is going to be that high frequency, meaning this. I repeat myself, I have six peaks. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six peaks. What I can do is I can do a second graph. I can say, all right, I have my change in my table is going to be 15 degrees. And so I'm gonna say, all right, I have one, zero, negative one, zero, and then one again. So I can kind of repeat myself after this. So let's see what I have here. So let's actually, I had that labeled, so that way we can use it. But let's say, all right, this is 60. I have 75, 90, 105, 120, 135, 140, or sorry, 150, 165, 180. Notice how it's a lot easier once you kind of see this pattern. This one's a little bit trickier, but we are good with it. I double check. Yep, 270 is negative one. 15 is 0, and 360 is 1. Alright, so notice how I had a lot of points because our period was very short, so that means it repeated itself 6 times. Okay, well, last one, and you're home free. We're saying y equals negative 3 sine of x. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier because we're saying our amplitude is going to be negative one, but we say we take the absolute value of, or sorry, it's our amplitude is gonna be three. So that means we go, so A, so all right, one thing at a time, starts at, starts at uh, zero, since sine of zero is zero. And so that means we're, our endpoint, so A is gonna be three, Again, take the absolute value. So whatever that value is, you have to just take the absolute value of it. So we're saying our amplitude is three because we're talking about that distance from zero. We're saying our value of B is one, which makes our period equal to 360, since 360 divided by one is 360. All right. Our start and end point has the same Y value. And now we're gonna say, all right, how is this gonna work? I'm going to anticipate that it goes down first, but I want to make sure. So we're saying our change in our x values is going to be 90 degrees since 360 divided by 90 is, or sorry, 360 divided by 4 is 90. I get that. I, I take my period divided by 4 to get my change in my x values. So I'm going to say 0, the order pair is 0, 0. I have I'm gonna go down first since we're saying negative. So I go negative three. So, so since sine of 90 is one, one times negative three is negative three. So I have sine of 90 degrees, and I have negative three. I go up to 180 is gonna be zero. So 180 is zero degrees. I go to 270 is gonna be positive three. So 270 is positive three and 360 is going to be zero again. All right, so again, I said I have one peak. Notice how instead of going up first, we said we go down since we're talking about a negative sign function. So let's hit y equals, make sure it's in the picture y equals a negative again that is not a minus sign so make sure you make sure you hit that negative button right there so i have negative three sine of x i hit graph so i want to look see how it starts at zero and it goes down first we have our one peak since our period is 360 and it ends at zero i hit second table to get my table of values i need to make sure that i have zero first. So I start at zero. I can hit the plus sign to have my change in table be 90 degrees. 
and so my five critical values, I have zero, negative three, zero, three, and zero again. Make sure you can ask questions at any point in time, and as always, super slam that subscribe button.